Drake eSign allows you to streamline your workflow and make the process of signing the tax return more convenient by allowing your clients to sign their tax returns digitally. Forms that support e-signatures include consent forms, e-file authorization forms, due diligence forms, various bank documents, and more. E-file authorization forms can also be signed for business packages and for states too, if the state supports it. Drake eSign is fully integrated with Drake Tax and Drake Documents, and it's easy to incorporate into your existing workflow. Once signed, e-signatures are authentic, tamper-proof, and securely bound to the signed documents. The process you use depends on whether your client is signing in person or remotely. E-Sign in person requires a signature pad. E-Sign online requires a SecureFile Pro account plus an additional fee for e-signature events. E-Sign online is available only for the 1040. Let's first review e-signing in person when your client is in your office to sign forms. E-Sign in person requires a signature pad. Using a signature pad to sign forms essentially eliminates the need to print, sign, and scan, which saves everyone involved valuable time. Drake supports Topaz signature pads, and beginning with Drake Tax 2019, we're also supporting Scriptel signature pads. To set up a signature, first install it following the manufacturer's instructions. Preparers can also apply digital signatures to documents by saving a signature in the software called a rubber stamp for batch application. To set up a rubber stamp for a preparer, go to Setup, Printing, eSignature Setup. Each preparer is listed. Select a preparer and click Sign to open the signature capture window. You can also do this from Preparer Setup. Go to Setup Preparers and double click the preparer name to open the Edit Preparer window. Click Setup Signature to open the Signature Capture window. Sign the pad and save the signature. In the Return Signature Options section, select 8879 Pin Signature. Uncheck Alternative Electronic Signature. This preparer can now use the stored digital signature to sign documents, such as the 8879. Now you are ready to create the signature documents. Let's look at the process for Drake eSign in person with a signature pad. First, create a PDF with eSignature fields. Open the taxpayer's tax return. To apply the preparer's rubber stamp to the 8879, enter a date on the pin screen but leave the ERO's pin signature blank. Next, go to View Print. From the document tree on the left side of the window, select the forms to sign. You can select all the return documents, just the documents to be signed, or go to Sets and choose the EF signature set. Click Sign from the View Print Mode toolbar to open the Electronically Signed Return dialog box where signature options are chosen. Choose Sign Now if the taxpayer is in front of you ready to sign. Choose Sign Later to create the PDF with e-signatures and store it in Drake Documents for later access. Let's select Sign Now. You can password protect the PDF file that's created and add a watermark if desired. By default, the signature documents are stored in the client's document manager folder with signature documents in the file name. Since we chose Sign Now, the PDF opens in the Drake eSign application. If available, you're prompted to apply the rubber stamp for the preparer. If there isn't a rubber stamp saved for the preparer, the preparer can use the signature pad to sign any signature lines. Confirm it's the correct preparer, click Yes, and the signature and today's date is applied to all the documents at once. All signatures for this document are listed in the left pane. Double-click to go to the location of the signature to open the Signature Capture window. Now have the taxpayer sign using the signature pad and press OK to apply the signature to the document or click Apply Signature in the dialog box to apply the taxpayer's signature. Continue this process until all the fields are signed. And if you don't capture all the signatures now, you could come back and sign them later. 
click Exit. The signed documents are stored in Drake Documents. File names for e-signature documents stored in Drake Documents indicate whether the documents are not signed, partially signed, or signed. For documents that you choose to sign later, access the documents by selecting the eSign button on the Viewprint toolbar or from the Drake Documents toolbar. In Drake Documents, locate the file, select it, and click Sign to open the eSign application window. That's the Drake eSign in person option. Now let's look at eSign online. To offer your 1040 client the ability to sign documents remotely, use Drake eSign online. You send the client the documents to sign via SecureFile Pro, and they can sign them on their mobile device or computer. This makes the process quick and convenient for the taxpayer. No need to print, sign, scan, and upload. To offer online signatures, you must have a SecureFile Pro account and pre-purchased signature events. SecureFile Pro is used to securely work with your client remotely. Use it for secure document exchange, to communicate and gather information, to capture signatures online, and to receive payment for your services. For information on SecureFile Pro, visit securefilepro.com. For more details on signature events, go to the Drake Support website at support.drakesoftware.com. Once signed in, go to My Account Drake eSign. Just like signing in person, the first step is to generate the PDF with signature fields in Drake Tax. From the View Print screen, choose Forms to Sign, click eSign, and this time choose Sign Online via SecureFile Pro. The number of signatures pre-purchased is listed, along with the number available and used. A link to information about eSign is also available. Each time you create a signature document, it's considered one signature event, regardless of the number of signatures in the PDF. Click Continue and the PDF with these signature fields is created and stored in the client's Drake Documents folder, and then upload it to the client's SecureFile Pro account. A file upload report generates. Select the client in Drake Documents to activate the SecureFile Pro pane, where you interact with your client via SecureFile Pro. From the Connect tab, the signature status indicates that forms have been sent. Click Details to jump to the Signatures tab, where signature documents and upload dates for this client are listed. Select a signature document to view more details, including the forms and signatures for that document, and whether or not they have been signed. When you send your client a document to sign via SecureFile Pro, they receive an email notification. Following the instructions in the email, they log into the SecureFile Pro account, and once logged in, there is a notification on the Sign Forms tab. From the Sign Forms page, the documents available to sign are listed. The taxpayer clicks to open the document and begin signing. The first time the taxpayer is presented with a PDF to sign, they are required to verify their identity through knowledge-based authentication. This is a requirement for collecting signatures remotely. Several questions are asked specific to their personal history, and the taxpayer must answer four out of the five questions correctly before proceeding. Once the taxpayer answers the questions, they can proceed to e-sign. In the box that appears, the taxpayer can use a mouse, stylus, even a finger to e-sign the forms. Continue to sign until all signatures are complete. If the signature documents require the spouse to sign, the spouse will follow the same steps, completing the knowledge base authentication before signing. When finished, click to submit signatures. When your client has signed forms, you will receive notification. The status is signed and a copy of the signed PDF is automatically saved in the SecureFile Pro Documents from Preparer folder. Thank you for choosing Drake Software.